Hi and welcome to Lincolnshire Fen Crafts Needle Felting Tutorials for Beginners. Today I thought we'd do um, quite a short tutorial um, on how to needle felt little sheep ears. Really easy to do once you know how, but can be really faffy if, um, if you don't get the technique quite right. So this is a really easy way of doing it and you get a really nice neat finish. So we'll just um, get going straight away on that I think. Okay, you can use any wool you want for this. These are, um, this is wool batting and this is wool tops or roving as you may also um, know it. Um, most people have got um, one or the other. No preference really to which one you use, it doesn't matter. The carded wool is what it says, carded, so it's much shorter fibres and uh, looks, and it feels quite rough. And the uh, wool tops, everything's brushed in the same direction so you've got that nice smooth, um, finish to those but I think today I'll use the um, the bats just for a change okay so you don't want much less is more and then you can always add if you need to remember one of the rules of needle felting is generally you can't add uh, you can't remove but you can take away so two lengths these are about I don't know, three inches nine centimeters nine centimeters something like that two lengths fold over and twist the ends together just to keep those ends from coming apart and the same with the other one and what you're actually creating is, um, is like a, a petal shape, a really really simple petal shape and we're going to work with that to create these nice simple shapes for the ears So there we go. So we've got two rough petal shapes and you can see the different sizes, it doesn't really matter. Um, it, it's all going to be felted and folded in so it won't matter. So let's, um, we'll start with this one. Just fold that, make sure it's nice and secure. Okay, needle I'm using is, this is a 38 gauge star. You can use a 36. Um, they're quite coarse um, needles, thicker needles. Um, the higher the number, the finer the needle. So you would maybe use a 40 or a 42 um, for when you're doing sort of little face details, the sort of more delicate areas. Um, but for the, the main bodies and for flat felting, you need a nice coarse sort of hard working needle and this is just a really good all rounder. This can be used for any part of the body but um, especially when you you want to get your felting done quite quickly this is really good. Okay so we're just going to start by pushing the needle in just start to felt that. If you want to speed it up I've got um, some needles here I've got three here and I've just wrapped those um, together with an elastic band. I've got a couple here just wrapped together with sellotape. You don't need any fancy tools. And just felt that to, so that it starts to firm up. And then pull it gently away from the mat or the, the foam pad, whatever you're using. And I'll also show you on, on a foam pad. As you probably have one or the other at home. It makes a nice crunchy noise when you uh, use the foam pad. And can you see, we're just pulling this wool in and we're using our needle, or needles, just to pull those edges in. So it's creating a nice soft edge. And keep doing that. Just push the, the needles just through the top of the foam or whatever the, the mat is that you're working on. If you push it too far in, pull it off gently, if you push it too far in then it drags the wool through the foam and then it drags the foam back out with the wool so you end up with bits in your work. Um, this is a, an upholstery foam, so it is pretty firm, so I don't really have that problem with this. But if, you, um, if you're using a looser foam, then that's certainly an issue. There we go, 
So keep turning and felting until that's firmed up nicely. I'm not doing it with any great finesse, it's just where it wants to go. And then when it starts to firm up, if you are using two or three needles, you'll find that it starts to get a little bit more difficult. So then just go back to your single needle. But there's absolutely no reason and no need to use more than one needle for this. In fact, for most things, I'm done with one needle. Now can you see, as I'm just pulling in, those edges are starting to, to look really nice and neat. Don't worry about these fluffy, wispy bits, because they will be snipped off in a little while. So there you've got a nice simple shape. You've still got these um, loose bits here. You want to keep those because we're going to use those to attach it to the head. And then just pinch at the base. So where the base um, starts to thin out, just pinch it so that you're creating that nice little cup shape and then just continually felt in one place until it actually maintains that cup shape and then just pull it off gently. You see there's lots of wispy bits here but we're going to deal with those in a moment. And then what you can do is just turn it on its side and just push through and where you actually pinched it together there, that will actually now hold because you've actually felted that little, that little bit together. So there you go. There's one ear. And then just to tidy it up, take a pair of scissors. So can you see all these wispy bits here on the back? Using the flat of your scissors because you don't want to snip into the ear. And then going around the edges. Just take any untidy bits off. You can leave them, it doesn't matter. I quite often leave them. I quite like the rustic finish. But sometimes it is nice just to, to trim them and tidy them up a bit. And then just push that through again, just to secure it. There we go, so that's, that's one ear. Okay, so if you want to um, make your other ear, pause the video and then come back and we'll be ready to attach it to the head. In the meantime, I'll bring back my second ear here which is what I did earlier. They're slightly different in shape, but it, uh, that doesn't matter either. You won't notice it when it's on the head. There's, um, you never get things perfectly the same. I could, I could work it a little bit more, but I think they're okay. That's maybe a bit thinner, but that doesn't matter either. So we've got a set of ears here. Move those little ones. Do them uh, a little smaller if you wanted to, depending on the shape of your um, animal. This is uh, this sheep, so you can see the the size of of the sheep. I've done these ears for the heads about the same size. There. So I've got a head here, um, nice and firm. So you want a nice firm head to attach these ears to. Um, and also with heads, they need to be firm as well because they take all the details a lot better. You stop, um, it stops them from squishing out of shape. So here we have our ears. Make sure you've got your face the right way up. There are tutorials on how to, to add um, all these details and how to add eyes and little eyebrows as well. If you just um, subscribe and you'll, um, you'll see all the videos that are there on my channel. Um, pop that in the centre of the head at the back and then just use your needle to push down where it starts to thin, where it starts to go into that wispy bit. Because you can actually use, what we, um, rather than have a short, um, just one, e just the ear, without any um, loose wool, it makes it quite difficult to attach it, but if you've got excess wool here to play with, then you can really get that on nice and firmly. And then what we'll do is, find where it is, we'll actually tuck that under the head, so it becomes part of the head, once we've, um, once we've positioned everything. It just gives it a nice, sort of seamless finish. So there we go. That's coming along nicely. Put it up that way. So this is your nose here. 
and you can see the ear here is sat on there quite quite secure so we'll do the other one now just move that little tail out of the way and pop on the other ear I might have made this a little thick this ear but it doesn't matter pop that on there you can play around with it more than I am and the thing with these is as well if you're not happy and you can't get it right then just make another one because you're using a tiny amount of wool and rather than mess about sometimes it is just quicker especially with these little details just to do another one so there we go we've got those two little wisps hanging down there now now they look a bit odd at the moment because we haven't shaped them or positioned them sticking out a little bit so I just felt that in even more and what you can actually do is if it is a little bit long you can actually go in diagonally almost straight and push through into the back of the head and that will actually pull that ear towards the back of the head and actually shorten it And this you can actually push right into the head, get this nice and firm. I've got these bits here, we'll deal with those in a moment. So you can see now. Now they're sticking back a little bit, so we want to um, we want to pin them forward really. So just hold hold the ear flat to the side of the head, and then just felt the ear come down. So you felt it in the, the middle at the back, but now start to move down the ear. So you're you're actually pinning that to the head so that it actually starts to retain its position and do the same with the other one and just fold it over so it's flat to the side of the face and then just start to move down a little bit and you can see that's actually starting to look a lot better there we go and then these wispy bits just if they're quite thick you can just spread it out and just pop it under the head like so and then same with the other one so it all just becomes part of one piece or looks like it's part of one piece and there you have it and then if, if you've got quite a lot going on at the back here, if it's a little bit um, lumpy, just take a really small piece of wool, nice and thin, and just, just lay it over the top there. Can you see? And just felt that in. And that covers up any of those unsightly lumps or seams and remember that all this that's going underneath is not going to to be visible because that's actually going to sit on your um, on your actual sheep so you're not even going to see any of this so don't be too precious over it and then we can just pop that on there and there you have your sheep head. If you were doing um, a herdwick, they have a little tuft. I love herdwicks. They have a little tuft just um, on the top of their head. So again, take a small piece of wool, fold it over, and where it's folded, felt that just where the um, the ears are across here. Can you see that? So you've got a little bit of a tuft going on there. Bit like a troll, and then you can actually just trim that, and that's how you create that little herdwick tuft. So, there you go, that is how to add ears to your sheep. You can then add all your little details. Um, as I said, you can. Um, find my other tutorials showing you how to add the cute little mouths and the eyebrows and how to sew on the eyes and once you've um, you've done this 
technique for ears. You can just apply that for all sorts of little ears. So you've got um, the greedy mouse here with his little ears and also there's a deer. So you can see the ears here slightly more shaped and more detail but the technique is exactly the same. So I hope you enjoyed that and um, I hope you enjoy needle felting. Thanks for joining me.